last video we got to the stage where we had machined the brake wheel so that it was uh, almost 99% uh, round and uh, clear. The next stage was to, for Keith to make blocks of wood which we decided to glue on crossways across the wheel and that meant that the inside, the one side of each block had to be radiused so that it would fit flush against the, pit, the, the brake wheel and we had an exact diameter for Keith to work on. He at some Timbers made a cutting tool which was exactly that radius and produced about 40, over 40 blocks of rubber wood with that curve on the inside, one side. Also the edges were chamfered so that they would fit against one another on the circle. We then glued and screwed each of these blocks onto the brake wheel and left the glue to dry. Each of those blocks were slightly longer than the width of the brake wheel as it is at the moment so that we could trim the ends of the blocks uh, neatly afterwards. Here the blocks are. They're attached to the brake wheel and we came back the next visit and naturally the, the outside of each of the blocks was flat so there was an, a, a series of flats on the outside. We set up on the lathe a, an attachment for my electric planer which we were able to run then across the surface of the uh, these flats of the, the brake wheel. So at this stage, uh, and I think it's about 31 millimeters at the thinnest, we decided to stop. The last job we did on our last visit was to face this. Remember I said the blocks were slightly too long for the width of the brake wheel. Uh, we used an electric planer which we uh, dismantled out of that special jig and planed and then sanded the, uh, the surface here. The rotation of the wheel is that way when it goes in the brake. So we deliberately looked at the end grain of each block and turned it so that there would be no tendency while the brake was on for the grain to peel off. Our next job is to turn over the brake assembly. This is the big uh, uh, brake block assembly. It's very rigid as one can see here. So there's no flexibility. So it really has to be the same radius as the wheel over there, perhaps with a slight clearance here, so that when the brake assembly is applied, that it uh, deflects a little bit and then clamps the brake wheel there. Trapdoor floor there. Yeah. Okay. And get the in the way. And get this block in. Easy. Legs off. Before we do any machining here, it's probably a good idea to point out how much or how little contact there was between the brake assembly and the brake wheel uh, as we found it. So it's only touching perhaps 
certainly we've been talking about 30 to 40 percent of the area. There's another section of the brake assembly which comes up from the bottom, which will also be machining. And uh, so, but we are aiming for an absolute 100 percent. To backtrack uh, why we are doing this, uh, when the restoration was done in 1995, we get the impression that perhaps uh, because a lot of the stuff was pre-made overseas and assembled here, uh, that perhaps they didn't really think that there was going to be serious milling happening here. The, we discovered when we were machining the brake wheel that it was actually oval. There, were, there was a big diameter and a small diameter, whereas now we've got the brake wheel very accurately centrally central and uh, parallel and we are attempting to do the same with the brake assembly so our radius gauge or something. plumb line yeah I suppose you can call it a circular plumb line so we're going to have to bring it across quite a long way this way. Get that right out of the way. You see now you can see why the, the spaces are there, so that the centre of the router can get into the block. Okay. Are we going to clamp? Yeah. Hit it here. Yeah, well that's what we were expecting. Yeah. Okay, so let's get across there. That's what we were expecting. I hope to do today. We've uh, got a true radius on the brake blocks, uh, probably from the stage that we cut, uh, uh, started cutting on the furthest from the cutter. In other words, when we just uh, completely cut another five millimeters of the thickness of the brake block has gone, and we've got a, a complete 100% cir uh, circle on the brake block which is about four or five millimeters in diameter bigger than our calculated diameter of the brake wheel. If, it, if there's still any drag between one and the other then we'll staple on some uh, very coarse sandpaper onto the wheel and uh, run the mill with the brake slightly applied just to true up one with the other.